Tomorrow night, there is a vigil at Harding High School in St. Paul. It's being organized after a student died in a stabbing there on Friday. The school went into lockdown for hours that day, and this kind of stress can be tough to understand. Jennifer Hoff spoke with a therapist about three things we all can do to cope after a traumatic event. The events on Friday at Harding High School are hard to comprehend. St. Paul police saying a 16-year-old student stabbed another student to death who was just 15. And while they're still investigating what led up to the incident inside, others are left to try and recover from the frightening experience that leaves even therapist Lambers Fisher asking why. My first thought was not again. Why does this have to be continue, a continued experience? for so many, especially our youth. Fisher says it's important to listen to young people and validate their feelings so they can be expressed, felt, and then processed. Instead of saying, don't use a gun, don't use a knife, we go that one step before that and says, why do you feel that that is the only way to solve your problem? Then we'll see a reduction in those extreme ways of expressing that. To try and recover from trauma sooner, he recommends three things. First, don't bottle up your emotions. Strengthen the relationships around you to regain a sense of safety. Second, focus on positive things in the midst of the negative. And third, create a space others can comfortably express themselves. But we can make intentional efforts to help ourselves and those around us to have the best mental health and thus overall health. <laughs> Students at Harding may also have recurring trauma given there have been at least three other documented violent incidents in the last year. This latest one leading to an hours long lockdown that Fisher hopes people can move on from in a healthy way. One relationship at a time. We can help one student at a time feel safer and make better decisions each day. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News. Some important information there. The vigil starts at 6 tomorrow, is open to the entire community. Again, it's at Harding High School, and it will be outside.